What is up, I guess, collectors? This is Sam McDaniel again on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be part three of the uh, series, mini series that I'm doing, uh, My Childhood Die Cats. Uh, let's get on with it. I don't know how much time I have before my phone decides to run out of uh, stored again. Here we have Austin Dillon's number three Dow Chemicals car from 2013. It's Ricky Stripe, and if you look closely, it's got Pole Award winner right there. And here we have Kevin Harvick's number four Bush Light beer car from 27, uh, almost at 2017-2016. This is an Elite because it has the black interior. And here we have Trevor Baines' number six Advocare car from 2017. And here we have Matt Kansas, number 20, Home Depot Husky Tools car from 2013. And here we have Joey Logano's number 22, Pennzoil Ford Fusion from 2016. And another Elite diecast with the black interior. Put it with that group. Push it off to the side. And here we have another Joey Logano car, but this one is from 2018, as you can tell the difference. And then here we have David Reagan's number 23 Dr. Pepper car from 2016. This is one of the Darlington throwbacks that I have. I know it may have seemed like I'm rushing it, but trying to get through the rest of all these diecasts and it's only it's like one, almost 1 a.m. in the morning so forgive me if I seem a little uh, less than enthused it's almost it's almost one o'clock in the morning right, right right now but here we have William Byron summer 24 Exalta paint scheme from last year with the rookie stripe and all this one is just like a wide interior one that I got at Walmart and here we have one of the uh, first diecasts that I've ever had. This is a Jeff Gordon diecast from 2001. Made by... Let me see if I can find who made it. Action. If you guys are familiar with that maker. They also make a whole bunch of other ones. In fact, Lionel Racing... Uh, or actually, no, they make also diecasts with Lionel Racing today. If you look on the, like any modern uh, Lionel Racing diecast, you'll see action right on the uh, package of the diecast. But here we have Jeff Gordon, December 24, DuPont car from 2004 with authentic uh, race tape on the grill and like dirt or whatever. I think that I think the car came that way. I could be wrong, but anyway, here. Another Jeff Gordon diecast. This one is from 2009. The car of Tomorrow Body, which I still hate to this day. That ugly looking spoiler and the big old ugly looking splitter. Still never a big fan of it. Here we have another 24, but this time it's Chase Elliott's from 2017. The Kelly Blue Book car. Of course, now. Since he switched to the number 9, it looks a whole lot different. That and it's the uh, new Camaro ZL1. Speaking of Camaro ZL1, here we go with William Byron's number 24 Hertz car from 2018 with the rookie stripe and all. Again, I get this at Walmart. And another Chase Elliott diecast, but this one is from 2016. I believe it has the rookie stripe as well. Yes, it does. This was his rookie year in the Cup Series. Although he did drive like one to two races in 2015 with the number 25, if you remember that. That is a very hard to get diecast. Here we have Brian Vickers, uh, number 25, Ditech.com, GMAC, uh, GMAC car from 2004. 
And I think GMAC has now become Ally, and Ally is now a sponsor of Jimmy Johnson. They've stayed in the Hendrick camp. Speaking of Hendrick, another 25 diecast, but this time it's Jerry Nadu from 2001. Either 2000 or 2001. One of the two. Let's see what it says. Oh no, another Hot Wheels car. Another one. Okay, it says 2000, so I'm going with that. And here we have Jamie McMurray's number 26 Irwin Industrial Tools car from 2007. Well, it looks like this one might have come on a stand, but when I got it, it was just in the box. And I actually did get this from the Rush Fenway uh, gift shop that they have there. Um, now I'm pretty sure that no one really wants to go there because Rush Fenway, let's face it, has fallen way off the grid in the past couple of years. Ever since like maybe 2011, 2012, they just have not been doing good. 2013 as well. When they really started to go down the toilet, that was 2015. That's when they really started to go down the toilet. Stenhouse, psh, forget it. And Newman, eh, no. But anyway, here we have the Kevin Harvick diecast from 2001. I believe this is the paint scheme that he ran at Atlanta when he won the race, and only his third or fourth start. Speaking of Kevin Harvick, uh, another Harvick diecast, but this time it's the Shell Pennzoil car from 2006 or 2007. I'm not quite sure. Let's flip it over and see. Okay, so 2007. I am going with that. Oh wait, that one's out of order. Um, here we go. Okay. Another Kevin Harvick diecast. Uh, this one is his Good Wrench car from 2004, the black and silver one. If Dale Earnhardt was still alive, he probably would have ran this paint scheme right here. If he was still alive at that time. And of course, to commemorate Dale, it's not really, it doesn't show that well on that side, but here we go. To commemorate Dale, they put the three right next to the number 29, but in very small numbers. But anyway, here we have Ryan Newman's number 31 Caterpillar car from 2016. This is another Darlington throwback. Really not sure who he was throwing it back to, but it's a Darlington throwback nonetheless. And here we have Jeff Burton's number 31 Singler car from 2004, I believe. Either that or 2005. Uh, let's 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 settle that debate right now. Okay, so 2005. I'm going with that. And here we have another Ryan Newman diecast, but this one is his Caterpillar car from 2018 when they first went with the Camaro Z01 body. I'm not sure why I had to flip it over, but I'm pretty. I am 100% sure it's from 2018 because that's when I bought it. And here we have Jeffrey Earnhardt's number 32 Otter Pops Corvette Parts.net car from 2016. I think this is a throwback to either, uh, yeah, I think either Dale or Dale Jr. But either one, it's a throwback to an Earnhardt. She, uh, I'm so Chase Elliott, no, Austin Dillon did a throwback to that as well, and so did Ryan Newman. I believe that was 2017 that they did that. But anyway, here's the original Candy Man's car, Mr. Elliot Sadler. Combos on the trunk. Of course, you all know the original Candy Man was Kenny Schrader. It's not up for debate. I am just stating my opinion. I have a right to my opinion on my own channel, so. Yeah. Anyway, this is Brian Newman's number 39 U.S. Army car from 2012. I think this is the last time that the U.S. Army sponsored NASCAR in the Cup Series. And here we have another Stuart Haas car, but this time it's Kurt Busch in the number 41 State Water Heaters car. But and this one is from 2013. 
And just notice that it says Outlaw. It's really cool. Because he pretty much is an outlaw. <laughs> Here we ha here we go again with another cart bush die cast, but this one has it says KB41 on the uh, whatever you want to call it that right here the this certain beam or whatever that's on the actual car. This is his Haas automation or Haas CNC car from 2018. This almost looks like the exact same paint scheme that he ran at Daytona, the one that he won back in 2017. I think that one had Monster on it instead of Haas. Anyway, a number, another number 41 car, but this time it's Casey Mears and the number 41 Target car from 2004. And of course, it was a Chip Ganassi car. And I think, yeah, Jimmy Spencer originally drove this car back in the day. And of course, speaking of Chip Ganassi, another entry. This time it's Kyle Larson's number 42, McDonald's, DC Solar, and Credit One Bank. Let me see, does it say on the. Oh, yes, it does. DC Solar and Credit One Bank car from 2018. Pretty much like his teammates from the same year. Another one. This time it's his DC Solar car. Of course, I've had a. I've, I have his Credit One Bank car right in there. If you want to see the video of that, go ahead and check out my channel. Anyway, that's his DC Solar car. Now, on, on to another number 42 car. Here we have one Pablo Montoya's number 42 Big Red car from tw uh, 2007, I want to say. Uh, let's settle the debate. 20, 2007. Okay. I'm going with what the thing says. And here we have another. Um, oh, what's the words there? Uh, Chip Ganassi Racing entry number 42. This time it's Jamie Murray. This time. in the number 42 Haviland car. And here we have. Bubba Wallace's number 43 U.S. Air Force car from 2017. I have a video of this car as well. If you want to go more in depth about it, go ahead and check that video out. Oh, excuse me. All right, number number 43 car, but this time it's Bobby Labonte from 2007. And the reason why I say it's 2007 is because look at the headlights. Those are not a Dodge Charger. Those, that is the Dodge Avenger. Oh wait, never mind. It is uh, 2008 because 2008 it was Cup at uh, Sprint Cup Series, not Nextel. 2007 was still a Nextel, but that is not a Dodge Charger. That is the headlights of a Dodge Avenger from 2007 because they ran those the cars uh, cars of tomorrow they ran that one they went back between the uh, Avenger and the Charger that year anyway the number number 43 car but this time it's Eric Almarola in the blue Smithfield car and I believe this one is from 2013 2014 it does not say and also, you can take this apart. This is pretty cool. Okay. Move these die casts out of the way. It's kind of disorganized because I still have yet yeah, these to go. But once I get to that row right over here, then I'll put those back. But anyway, this is Dale Jarrett's number 44 UPS Toyota Camry from 2007. When he drove for Michael Walter Racing. This is actually another one of my uh, all time favorites because it just looks so good and I love the UPS uh, paint scheme. And now we move on 
to the seven-time champion himself, Mr. Jimmy Johnson. This car is from 2008, 2009. Let's have a look. So 2009, I am going with that. And I think this is the card that he won the championship in, I think. Let me know down in the comments if that is true. And here we have another one. But this time it says Darlington Throwback to 2016. I want to say, yep, 2016. Really not sure who he's throwing it back to, but it's a throwback. Nonetheless, let me put the Jimmy Johnson diecast back. There we go. Another Jimmy Johnson diecast, but this one's pretty beat up, as you can see. And it looks like this one is possibly from 2003. Let's have a look. And it's by made by Racing Champions. Hold on, I got to get out of the picture. It, it does say 2002. Okay. Wait, no, 2003. 2003. It would be 2003. It would be 2003. 